Opalescence PF is a customized take-home teeth whitening treatment. Begin by making an alginate impression of the patient's upper and lower arches. Pour impression with fast set plaster or dental stone. Pour alginate shortly after making impression to ensure accuracy. Trimming is less work if quantity of stone is kept to a minimum. Palate and tongue areas are not poured or should be removed after plaster has set. Allow model to dry two hours. For reservoir spaces, apply UltraDent LC Blockout Resin approximately 0.5 millimeters thick onto the labial surfaces. Stay about 1.2 millimeters from gingival line. Do not extend onto incisal edges or occlusal surfaces. Using Velo LED curing light, cure each tooth five seconds. With vacuum former, heat the tray material until it sags down approximately one quarter to one half inch. Activate the vacuum and adapt the softened plastic onto the model. To avoid distortion, cool the tray material completely before removing from the model. Cut away the excess material with UltraDent Utility Vinyl Cutters. Use Ultra Trim Scalloping Scissors carefully and precisely trim the tray to clear line which is at the gingival height, flaming edges to reduce to desired height. Scallop edges to avoid contact with gingival tissue. Return tray to model. Check tray extensions. Gently flame polish edges one quadrant at a time if necessary with a butane torch. While still warm, immediately hold periphery of each segment firmly against model for three seconds with water moistened gloved finger. If this over thins the tray material, fabricate a new tray. Once you have completed each tray for your patient, use the provided patient instruction booklet to advise the patient on the whitening procedure. Demonstrate how to load the tray by expressing one continuous bead of gel approximately halfway up from the incisal edge on the facial side of the tray from molar to molar. This should use about one-third to one-half of a syringe. Instruct your patient to insert the tray and gently remove any excess gel with a soft toothbrush. The patient should leave the tray in for the recommended period of time. After the recommended time has elapsed, the patient should remove the tray, rinse and brush their teeth to remove all gel. Demonstrate how to clean the tray with a soft brush and water. Be certain to read the product instructions, warnings and information contained in the package and advise the patient accordingly. It is recommended to monitor the patient's progress.